Hey guys, this is Neon Nazi back again with another. Hey, yo, what's going on, Destiny Knight? Name is the Gamer. We'll go back to another D6 video. Hey, what's going on, Destiny Knights? Name is the Gamer. We'll go back to another D6 video. So, before we start the video, okay? Before we start the video, I want to clarify something. Two things, actually. I have not done a Hakasha video because I want to actually skill him up before I give him a proper showcase. I want to have him on the really good crest orbs uh before anything so uh that's why you have not seen a proper video on him yet because i want to show how much damage he can do i feel like he can he can do so much damage okay and another thing okay i feel like there was a lot of people that have mentioned when i did a subset video people were telling me oh no you can't do the double subsets anymore let me show you how to do it okay so look like I, said. I i i try to enforce this so much do it only at plus 15. I know that other games it is um, you're used to doing uh, your substat rerolls like oh I don't like this substat I'll go ahead and change it. This game is not about that. You can do that but it's more efficient to focus on one substat to have more of that substat. So example here it rolled into buff uh, duration especially for Rock Arcana it's pretty good. So guess what it shows you right here you can get buff duration as well. So, I'm going to get rid of this flat HP. As you can see, I have 27 of those uh, these scrolls, specifically from the uh, New Tower Promises. So, let's go ahead and try it. I'm going to save some rubies here. Hopefully, we can actually just go ahead and get it early on. You can get a 3%. Look, there you go. Status activation, 3%. Unfortunately, this is not... Uh, it, she doesn't need status activation at all. So, uh, I'd rather just not... Oh, another high roll of that. Okay, so... Uh, deep buff duration, no... So close, it would have been buff duration. Okay, status activation. We've already gone through six. The thing is, is that this one right here is actually not even that bad. But what I'm trying to show y'all is the double subset. So you know what? I'm not going to leave it at that. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's go ahead and uh, show. There you go. Buff duration, 2%. So as you can see, you can still get uh, two subsets doing this. Now, I'm not completely sure. I, I, I don't know if they changed it for global where you cannot do that. Uh, if they did then that really does kind of suck because they they really can't change it on our server because everybody has done it so far and if they if, if they cut it off here and now it will be such a huge gap so i would understand if they don't have this on the global server server like i said the one way you can check is uh if you see a subset like let's say the double roll right if double rolled into buff duration so what you want to look for is buff duration this buff duration there it is there then okay uh let's let's go ahead and uh uh, uh, like, like, okay, this was not plus 15, right? But it does have skill cooldown reduction. If you look through here, it does say, or, or uh, if, if I click on another one, if we scroll through here, guess what? You will not see another skill cooldown uh, reduction because it only happens when you do it plus 15. That's why I enforce the idea of only doing it at plus 15 because it doesn't make sense. Uh, but if we go to one that's already plus 15, like here, right? Uh, because there was an attack percentage, she heals off of bit. Uh, she heals based off of attack. Guess what? That attack percentage is right there. Um, now, now they are they do give low rolls like you just saw. If there was a double roll into this uh, buff duration over here, if if there was a low roll into this buff duration right here, if it was uh, if it was if if it, if the plus fifteen rolled into. Uh, buff duration like right here it would give me either two percent four percent or six percent because it's technically showing like the one percent here so because it gave me that two percent roll it would have given me four percent if it was on the double roll when i plus 15 day i hope i'm making myself clear here but yeah so it's like it depending on the roll as well uh i think I've, i even had a uh no not that one is it this one no not that one that's a pretty high roll as you can see that's a six percent because three three percent and three percent equals six percent there's no way you're gonna get five percent there's no way you're gonna get three percent um when it comes to the double rolls so let's let's uh show and uh, i want to show my uh se my assessor because somebody actually asked me i know that cesar isn't on global but somebody had asked me and i hope you're watching so you can see my cesar uh so you can, as you can see right here there's 4% skill cooldown reduction. It can be 6%, but I don't want to keep rolling it and uh, spending too much ruby. So I was like, you know what? It's double skill cooldown. I'm okay with it. But that's really it. And uh, my rock is right here. Full precision crest uh, and uh, bravery 
orbs. Uh, I have not used them for uh, faction boss just yet because I have used them, but I want to make them a lot better. So, anyways, that that is not what the video is about. We're already five minutes in. We have even gone <laughs> what the video is about. Okay, the video today is about the team that does not lose. Okay, so don't ask how I got these many keys. Okay, I accidentally click collect all. <laughs> Two times! I did it two times as well. But, okay, so why do I not use this team? Because it wins too much and I was like, you know what? Really enough, right? Wins too much. I was like, man, like, I don't, I don't know, uh, like, like, I, I want to use different teams. But, but, okay, so, you see, you see her there, right? The, you, you see the leader, you're like, why the heck do you have a non-leveled leader there? Okay, I'll go ahead and put her actual, where is she at? Where is she at? Here she is, okay. Okay. I'm gonna show y'all here and now why Helga right here does not need orbs, crest, doesn't even need to be leveled. I'll show you right now because I showed uh, somebody. Uh, actually, I want to give a huge shout out uh, to um, Fort Misery Gaming or something like that. Sorry if I didn't get your get your channel right. I'm gonna leave your link into the description below. But uh, let's go ahead. We're gonna buff creation right here. We're gonna boom. Then uh, that was an accident actually. So right there, boom, right there, dead. So the whole point of this team, okay, let's 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 break it down, okay? Paper Alga. She has to be the first one. She has to be the lead for this to work, uh, I feel, because she's the one that buffs. Reason being is because when you buff, you, the the other the other opponent has to come to you. You know what I'm saying? So if you if you had uh, let's say um, Elk right there, right, as lead. Yes, it's a good lead, but she'll keep moving even though uh, uh, she's still buffing. You cannot control them when it's arena. So by the time she has her status activation up, what if somebody puts a shield up right there and there? That messes up everything. So you have this team basically is like no control. They should not be moving at all. Okay. So uh, the the order is Helga buff, uh, Scissor L and this is actually this team is actually global release friendly. As you can see, I have Gunter as the uh, striker here, so y'all have Gunter, I believe. So everybody here, you have on global. So you should be able to do it. The only ones that actually have the you have to actually focus on is Benito and Elk. Okay, her. What? Uh, if if you're just gonna focus on arena, if you're specifically focusing on arena, have this skill max. Her eclipse. Only have that one max. The uh, the heal isn't as uh, it isn't as important. It does help a lot if you're in a sticky situation, but uh, the eclipse is mostly important. You need to have her vacuum uh, max. You need to have the the damage max. Everything the cooldown maxed. So uh, have this max, uh, and then I have some decent orbs on her. And same thing with this guy. Look, I have I only have his second skill max because that's his. Uh, that's his nuke skill. That's what you want, because uh, people will probably be like, I don't understand the the the, uh, the hype around Benito. I didn't understand it either. I really, really wanted him, and when I got him, I was like, I don't get it. He's not doing much damage. I have uh, okay crest and orbs on him. I don't understand. He needs to be skilled up. That second skill. That second skill needs to be skilled up, and you will see how crazy, uh, how much damage he does. Okay, so uh, there it is. The uh, the. Uh, and reason reason being why Helga is good, and it's like why don't you use Paper Fran? She has damage buff as well. She actually has a status activa activation buff, which makes sure it's like it's like a safety net of she will control uh, Scissor Elk will control the enemy team. And on top of that, a damage buff, so Benito will actually be doing a lot more damage. So crest crest orbs on her do not matter. I'm telling you that right now because I've actually used her, like I said. Unorbed, un like anything. You do not need anything on her. Now, like I said, these two, the Bonito and the Elk, are the more important ones. They're the key factors in this team. So if you have those two, Elk, I mean, um, Helga does not need to be leveled or anything like that. Let's go ahead and show you again. I know I'm not in the higher arena. You're like, well, you're not that high arena. I use this team constantly. I actually got champion with this. I actually got. Uh, rank four with this team. So as you can see right here, uh, right there is uh, what's his name, Adonis. It don't matter. It don't matter. He ain't gonna put his thing up because it's too much damage. It, it's too much overwhelming damage. Why don't I put the heal uh, without me needing the actual heal? Is because she actually does damage when she does that heal. So when there's two of her skills doing damage, and then on top of that, Benito doing his skills. 
um, like passively, I guess you could say, without a it actually just doing one hit and then boom, that's it for that skill. No, these the it's just so much overwhelming damage that it eventually just kills them. I've actually gone up against 150,000 HP, tanky, very tanky team, and I still won with this team. So that's to show, you know, like like right now I'm going to switch Helga just to show that you do not need any anything on her. I'm just showing you how, how it go. Okay, so her buff, oops, her this, and then the thing, the best part about having uh, Elk and Benito, they are a perfect pair. Especially even in uh, PvE because when she vacuums everything is uh, in one area and guess what Benito just line 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 kill so it's it's very uh, synerg it, They synergize extremely well, so if you have the two Awesome look at this guy. He's so cool, man. I wish I would I should have summoned more, but I feel like uh, I got I got one Hakasha, so I'm okay with it. Okay, so look let me show you you can actually drag it back and then they'll wait for you right here. You see that? You see, they were waiting for you right there. So if you're not, if you're actually not, um, if you're not maxed or whatever, or your 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 um, team is not uh, ready or whatever, you can buff her backwards, and she will actually stay there for like two or three seconds, and they will wait there. They're not going to actually keep going. They're going to wait there until they feel you're approaching, and then they actually go. So you, you you just saw it, right? And I hope I hope I hope I showed it right. Okay, so the same the same dude paid to draw. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, all right. So let's go ahead and uh, do that again. Okay, so he has paper chance, so he can actually mess me up if I don't do this correctly. See right there? Boom! They wait for me. Uh, sort of, sort of, you sort of saw it right there. Okay, here we go, and it's done. See, like 71,000, 90,000. It does not matter. They shred through their HP so fast. Now. Let's switch. Let's switch it out, right? Let's switch it out. Let's go ahead and uh, um, and like I said, I don't know if I mentioned it. This team does. I have not lost. The only reason why I did lose one, like, like I had, I've lost with this team. Uh, the only reason why I've lost with this team is because I wasn't focusing on the game. I was actually like watching TV or something. I click replay and I play. I click start or whatever, and I was watching and I was like, oh crap, the match started. And then it, that's one thing you cannot do is have them start once they start their cycle it messes everything up so let's go ahead and take this level one level one okay like y'all have to listen to me level one okay where's she at where's she at where's she at nope not paper done i said no i have too many dupes look right here look no no nothing 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 on her no crest no orbs or orbs no crest no skill ups nothing that's all i literally just need the two key factors which are bonito and elk Okay, so let's go ahead and show you right here. She's not even awakened. Nothing. This is like this is like a trap. <laughs> you know, I should just leave her there just to just to sort of trap it. It'd be so funny. Okay, so she's ready right here. Boom right here. Boom right here. And that's all. It's that's all she read. There you go. See, done. Level one. Level one. That's why I'm letting y'all know that you don't need specific orbs or crest on her. I had her on Vitality just to make it more tanky. You can put her on whatever. It really does not matter, really. Um, and this team is actually... It has all three elements, which, just, which does help a lot. I believe it does give you the skill cooldown, which is why all my skills are ready, because I have all three elements in one team. So, and if you don't have all elements in one team, then more than likely you will need uh, more skill cooldown. There you go. I, I don't. I literally do not need to do that. Oh crap! They're not activating their skills, bro. They didn't activate their skills. That's 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 one thing as well. Uh, to be more cautious about this team, you have to make sure that uh, you drag it because sometimes the clicks don't work and they just they're, they're in a weird position or something like that. If they're in a weird position, they can't activate their skills. It does happen. It does happen sometimes. So as you as you saw right now. But the thing is, is that like I I, I I just ate, so my hands are kind of like a little greasy. So it kind of um, I don't want to mess it up by doing that. So let's go ahead and do this. I don't even have to go back. Let's just do this, okay? Let's do this, 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 this. There you go. Look, a hundred thousand HP, right? Dead. Dead, dead, dead. Because the time by the time they get back up and running, they they can't think. They they probably can't think. Or sometimes they do activate their skills fairly quickly, but I feel like 
because Benito and ev all all the damage that's coming through, it's not going to be go going to be enough. And that's why you need Benito Max because he he ignores defense and his ignore defense is very crucial to this team. So let's go ahead and do this. Go ahead and do this. Go ahead and do this. This 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 this. There we go. Ignore defense. Both of his skills ignore defense, by the way, if you did not know. So yeah. I mean, literally, you don't even have to have Sizzle Gunter in, in, your, in, 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 in your striker. You can have anybody in your striker. The only two that matter in this team, like I keep saying, is Benito and Elk. All right, let's do this. Let's bring them to us. There we go. Just so it can be much easier. And look, 100,000 HP right here. Boom. Dead. That's the thing, right? Because the thing is, is that once you put that, especially that damage taken debuff, so helpful. So helpful. So... Yeah, like, this team, I've gone through 100, I think I've gone to 200 wins with this team. It's so insane. So it's like, I feel like this is the, one of the most consistent teams that you can actually build. Even in a global server, I don't know, like I said, it's it might be a little bit harder to, you, you will need better crest or orbs or whatever, but you can still, you can still do it. I feel like there's no, uh, eventually you can strive to do this team global uh our server the one that merged i don't even know what we are are we asia server i, I don't even know <laughs> i thought we were going to be global server i didn't know but this is very um friendly to um they like like y'all's uh, uh server because it it's just so much control so much damage like i don't even use rock june anymore because yeah he does a lot of damage but this isn't i have actually used him in this team and i actually lost with that team once or something like that and i was like nah it's not consistent it's not 100 percent this one i can say it is 100 percent as long as you're paying attention to the damn game it should be good so it's like like i said it it, it it wipes through the team and even through time even in times three that's like when it's like like saturday night or something like that for me i usually like have it on times three so i can just finish in like freaking 10 minutes or something like that and just do a whole bunch of uh uh swords and it, you can see i have too many swords i should be doing a lot more swords but yeah so let's go ahead and leave it on times three let's go ahead and do this 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 it almost caught up with me right there. <laughs> okay, there we go. And dead. So, yeah. I mean, you have to get used to it. Like I said, I was sort of, sort of used to the times one. So, I kind of like... Ah, it kind of uh, messed me up there. But, like I said, this team is excellent. I... Um, oh, disclaimer. Disclaimer. I did not make this team. Somebody else made this team. And I cannot remember who made it. I hope I can sort of like do a little research and uh, see if I can make it. You see losses right there. One. That was not because of this team. I promise. It was, it was probably because I'm trying. I always try to do something stupid. Something different. And it, it's something more than likely some, uh, most of the time doesn't work. So, yeah. So, those teams are the best. Uh, that team is the best for zero losses if you're paying attention to the game. Okay, pay attention to the game. Okay, let's <laughs> let's see these actual uh, crests because they're uh, the, the legendary crest summoning is so good. Look at that HP percentage. That's uh, that is beautiful. That is a beautiful crest. Okay, cool. Do we get another one? Not another one. That was actually really lucky. <laughs> I'll, I'll admit that was pretty lucky because uh, that doesn't normally happen. Now, look, I know. I know there's a lot of y'all. Like, I should be doing a Carol's Trial, a damn Carol's Trial thing. I know I should, but I, I keep, I keep like forgetting and I'm like, oh, I have this video idea I want to do. Uh, I want to show this, I want to show that. I'll go ahead and actually, I'll try and see if I can do it within the next two videos, maybe. I'm glad I can actually have content, be like, oh my gosh, I have so much content to do. Before, it was actually difficult to, for me to be, to, to, oh man, I don't know uh, if I have time to do this. I, I, I don't know if I, I'm running out of ideas, whatever. This, like, since the global release happened, I've, I've been like, like, there's a whole bunch of content I can do uh, to show, which is really cool. But uh, I haven't even done Jack's Puzzles or Carol's Trial. So it's like, one day, uh, maybe two two videos from now, because the next video I really want to do the Hakasha video, just because of the fact that I have not done a damn a damn uh, a, a spotlight on him or, or her, whatever. It, it's a him, I believe. Him, and it's it, he, I just want to see if he does insane damage or if it's just like, ah, it's not worth it the hype that i thought it was going to be maybe the rock one's better maybe i did get the but it's like he has spotlight too so it's like eh, i don't know but anyways rambling on for no reason 
I feel like I showed enough. I, I feel like I showed enough in this video. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, show you the actual team stats. So I feel like I've already showed y'all this. This is a my sister. Oh, she has 16% status activation. Doesn't really matter that she doesn't. She has low status activation just because of the fact that she does have that buff that Helga does. Uh, then skill cooldown reduction 36% that's pretty good and then uh, HP percentage is really what I focused on I have her vitality half grit half precision just because I want her to have more status activation I feel like I need a plus 15 these but actually this one's not too bad oh it's it's a three star maybe I'll still uh, fit plus 15 it because I can't get anything better from there this one it's like deep buff duration eh, or no this is buff duration but still it's like not too not too crazy uh, that one's not too crazy either, and that one's not too crazy either. That's why I haven't plus 15 them. I usually just plus, plus 15 the ones where I'm like, okay, those are insane. Okay, this one, I, I, I feel like I've shown my Rock Benito enough anyways. This isn't the best one. So yeah, I don't, do, do not ask why. <laughs> I, I do not know why I have so much deep buff duration on him. It, it just happened to be so much, some, uh, the orbs happen to be so many, uh, deep buff duration. Like right there, 3%, it just rolled high. It actually, I don't... You know what? Let me see what the heck this is doing. What, what what kind of drugs are you on? Oh yeah! See this this right here. This right here is the example of what happened. Right here. I did this I, before I knew about the double subset thing. It actually um, before I knew about the double subset thing, I was like, oh, I need skill cooldown reduction so bad. So I put it on this one, the top one. I was like, oh, okay. I was like, I got it, and then I realized that I did need this orb, <laughs> and it double rolled into debuff duration. So yes, this is what I mean when don't do the mistakes that I did. So anyways, um, and then obviously, like I said, Helga does not matter. Striker does not matter. No orbs, no crest, does not matter. I just have the other one specifically there because she's just she's built. I use her for giants, and I use her for arena as well. So yeah. That's basically it. So again, thank you very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Leave in the comments down below if you have a different team that uh, that's 100% as well. I would love to spotlight it or whatever. And just different ways to change the metal would be really cool. And uh, my my microphone would be really the my my megaphone for with with the channel i have hopefully does spread around that team that you have maybe so like i said again thank you very much for watching and i hope you enjoyed the video uh, also i'm gonna leave the link to uh fort misery gaming uh in the description down below you uh we've actually been um uh, I, I found out about him a few days ago he's a pretty cool guy uh and uh it, it, just check out his videos it'd be really cool there's there i mean i feel like there's more uh, Destiny Knights channels out there, but I would love to see the smaller ones get bigger because I see a lot of the 20,000 subscribers up there, whatever, and I'm like, bro, y'all gotta stop burying us. So you know what? Uh, us small channels should stick together and make this community bigger than what it, it is already. Um, and yeah, I, I'm, I'm giving him credit because I was talking to him and, and the idea hatched from me talking. I sort of bounced the ball on him and I and then it just kind of gave me the idea. So. Like I said, thank you very much, and thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Alright, peace.